Hello everyone, welcome again to the, this channel. Today I will explain you about fuzzy selectors. So we have already discussed about basics of selectors and I have already covered non-greedy selectors. Now this time we are going to cover about fuzzy selectors. So whenever we are working with any specific terms which we want to isolate it or which you want to make the selection is perfect that time we will need for the selector so let's see one example here so this is the big name we want to download the file from here but users don't want to type the name and this is not at all rememberable so for downloading these type of file we have to implement fuzzy selector where user provide an input whatever they will remember so just like apache jmeter is very much rememberable user can provide the name but after that there is a too many numbers or a combination of characters special characters numbers and many more things are available so that time fuzzy selector will help us to identify the content whatever user has provided the inputs it also provides us the accuracy level where we can or user can provide us from 0 to 1 so you can see here fuzzy selector will have fuzzy level where we can provide the accuracy starting from 0 to 1 0 is the least value and 1 is definitely a maximum accuracy level where we are expecting. So there are several other commands like when we want to use it for any specific name HTML, Web Control, Java Control, SAP and RDP even though for the silver light we can use it. So these type of scenarios for this selector will help us to do the activity so we'll discuss here in detail so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's start with implementation of fuzzy selector i will show you how we can create a script where user provides an input and based on their input the script will download the file and save it to our location so let me delete this and create in front of you so i'm going to use one input dialog box where this input dialog box will ask the user which version you want to download it same thing we can use it for the downloading packages or any other file which is having too many which is having name a big length plus combination of different character which is not memorizable for the user which version you want to download so this is the message where user can get and I have already created one variable where we can assign that message to here. So based on their inputs, user will get the downloadable file. So let me drag and drop here one click activity. In this click activity, we are going to catch this text. So let's see, indicate on screen. Once it will indicate on screen, it will jump to page. The single click. After clicking, it will capture our screen and save it to UI path. Now you can see it's saved. Let's open this in UI Explorer. So once we will open it in UI Explorer, we will able to get 
different or all the attributes which is available at the time of selection so we'll show you how we can implement it and one more thing before starting or before using for the selector we have to know the particular environment where we are talking about so mostly as this page is looks like an html page where multiple tables are created and in between that table there is a continuous are available or you can say that the divisions so for using this type of attributes we have to select table row from here and once we we'll select that you able to see one here replace this with wild cards so if you don't know about the wild cards please watch previous sessions or beginner session of selector listed in you are mentioned in description tab so this is a one thing which we have to change second thing we want to assign the same version which we have uh, copied or took the input from user so right click on this and choose variable once you click it will pop up an drop down box where you have to select the version detail so once you click on you are getting version detail here now till now here we have done next we will need to select matching so because we are going to implement implement fuzzy label or fuzzy matching activity which match the character from web page and download the data as compared to input from the user as well as from the web content so here a a name i will need a a name is basically active accessibility name where we are going to provide the the detail in single code that is selector type so fuzzy because we are using fuzzy here next we will need to provide the fuzzy label so fuzzy label is basically working on accuracy level so if we have we are including zero is the minimum or least accuracy level is providing so it is not checking any validation over there so let's capture till 0.5 so it is working from 0 to 1 but when we are mentioning 0.1 it's 10% accuracy 0.2 is 20% 3 30 and goes on increasing so one is an 100% accuracy level it is searching So point five is the maximum. Uh, sorry, fifty percent accuracy we are expecting from here. So after this, we will validate your code and save the command. Because we have made the changes, it will definitely not going to. Uh, it will definitely not going to save or validate the code. But when we will run with the accuracy or based on the input. it felt definitely work so let's run save and run the process and see how the result will look like that first open this page and run the command so for the selectors plays a very important role when we are having a big name combination with several characters or combination of characters numbers and special character which is not able to memorable for any user not even for the computer but computer is capturing the screen it is comparing definitely they are going to catch it but for human being it's not easy to understand or not easy to memorize that so let's wait for the pop up message once the pop up message will appear we will enter this name up to 5.3 and see the result is it able to download it or not so i am entering here apache underscore jmeter jmeter underscore 
5.3 and click on OK. Once we'll click on OK, it will start downloading the file from here. Now you can see. I think we have did some mistake here. So here we have entered a e name for the and for the label. We have to enter here a, a name as well. After that, their accuracy label. So once we'll enter the accuracy label 0.5, which means the 50% accuracy. So let's save this and run it again. Let me enter here Apache Fin J meter hyphen 5.3 and click on OK. It will definitely start downloading the file. Now you can see it's selected and within a fraction of a second. Downloading will start in browser. Now execution is completed. It's waiting for the server. You can see here it's loading the page where download will start. You can see here. So downloading is started already. So I don't want to download this. So let's say for other combination where we can provide less accuracy level. I am editing the selector and will run with only 0.3% accuracy or sorry 30% accuracy level. So here we want to mention 3. Click on OK. Once we will click on OK, it will save your selector value and this time I will enter only browser. So once I enter browser wherever is the browser URL is available it will click that URL and jump to the page. So let's run this. I am just entering this name browser it will click wherever the browser link is available and execution will complete. So let's see the page is updated or not. Now you can see it's loading the page. So wherever the browser URL is available, it will click to that URL and return back to execution page because that is our final street which we have defined in UAPAT. So let's recap this. We have started with the fuzzy selector, understand about the basic why we will need that fuzzy selector. Then we have created one sequence and run it successfully with 30% accuracy and with 50% accuracy. We can also increase and decrease according to our requirement. So this is all about fuzzy selector. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.